everyone. Today I want to talk to you about reverse weeding when cutting and weeding smaller fonts and thinner fonts. So I have this set up for you guys to show you. I'm going to go up here to select all and my overall design is two and a half inches wide and just under two inches tall. So it's pretty tiny. So what I like to do first is go over to my shapes and select a square and I like to make what's called a weeding box around my design. So I'm going to go up to a range and I'm going to move it to the back. That way I can see better. I don't want it to be too much bigger than my design. I'm going to unlock this um, so I can control the shape of it. I don't want it too much bigger than my overall design. I want it just a little bit bigger to make weeding a little bit easier, especially since the font is so small. So then what I'm going to do is go back up to select all and I'm going to select it all and then go down on the right in your layers panel and attach it. It's all going to turn the same color, but the, let me see, the words are going to cut right out of that box and the box is going to make it easier for me to weed. So I'm going to make it. Now some people use the washi sheet setting, but I have the maker and I find that even though I have small thin fonts, it cuts perfectly on vinyl. Um, I have lost a dot or two, but usually I find them and I like it much better than using the washi sheet, but it depends on what you normally do and how you like it. So now for reverse weeding, what's going to happen is we are going to apply our transfer tape and weed off of that. So if you've ever used HTV iron-on vinyl, it's the similar... Um, it's like that because the carrier sheet for those is already attached. So basically that's what we're going to do is attach our transfer tape first and then weed off of it. Some people find this much easier when using a thinner, smaller font because it, it's easier to get to your transfer tape and it's much easier to weed. So I'm going to let this cut and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys how we do the reverse weeding. Okay, my maker's done cutting so I'm going to unload my mat. I'm going to show you my design. You can see a few of the smaller little inside letters I lost, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to take this off my mat, and I'm going to, you can see my weeding box. I'm going to cut my excess vinyl off, and then I'm going to pull my box off from around my image, the excess vinyl around my box. It's going to leave that weeding box for me. And what I'm going to do first, because all of these little pieces that I kind of lost here are pieces I'm going to weed out anyway. So I'm going to weed them out now to make it a little bit easier to reverse weed the rest of the design. So I usually just keep this excess vinyl that I have. Um, and I just stick my uh, weeded pieces to that. I like that because um, it's something nice that I can stick it to. Now I can see this little eye, here, this little dot for the eye here. Uh, I'm gonna leave that, and I'm going to. Um, I'll place it back later. Sometimes I find that to be much easier. Uh, now, if you use the washi shedding setting, you may not have these issues, and if your maker didn't cut well on vinyl, then you can go ahead and try it on the washi sheet, or if you have an explorer that didn't cut well on vinyl, use the washi sheet, but usually my machine cuts well enough on the vinyl setting for me. So I'm just going to, I'm using contact paper from Walmart as my transfer tape, and I'm going to remove my transfer tape. I'm going to place it over my design and I want it to be about the same size as my design. I have some excess here which normally I would cut off but uh, I have this piece from another design so it was just left over from something else I cut down so I'm just going to use that I'm not going to cut it down but normally I recommend cutting it down a little more. What I'm going to do is just burnish and rub really well on the front and then I'm going to flip it over and burnish really well from the back. 
This not only helps it adhere to your transfer tape, but also release from the paper backing. And I find this to be a much better way to um, apply your vinyl to the transfer tape. Some transfer tapes, you don't need to do this, but I always think it just makes it so much easier. Now I'm going to really slowly and carefully pull my design. Make sure I'm getting all the pieces. You can use your scraper tool, your fingernail, whatever, if you have some pieces that aren't transferring as well. Um, and you can just rub it. Sometimes I like to pull from different angles too because you have different um, letters and sometimes they pull up better from one direction than another. So sometimes I'll do that and I, I'll pull from all four directions if I need to. Uh, start on one side and if it's not adhering well to my transfer tape then like this one here top wasn't pulling up very well but the bottom was okay so sometimes you just kind of have to go back and forth and play around with it but you'll get your whole design to move up depending on your transfer tape I do like the contact tape from Walmart but I find um, I do find that for reverse weeding it doesn't pull up my letters as well as other transfer tapes that I've used I find that um, when you weed the normal way it pulls up my vinyl just fine but it really it needs that suction around each letter I think to do it a little better so now that I have my design transferred here I'm going to reverse weed so I'm going to take off all of my excess vinyl that I don't need I'm going to just pull it up carefully and then I'm just going to pull with my fingernail I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it and I'm gonna go really slowly and really carefully to make sure that all of my vinyl is stained to my transfer tape. You might have, you know, if you're going around a certain letter that has a piece, um, you know, like the S's and stuff like that, that may have stuck down. So you can either weed out the center pieces or you can weed out the weeding box if you made one first. Uh, it's up to you. I prefer to do my outside box first and then I have something to stick my uh, excess weeded pieces to. But it's all preference. Uh, either way will work fine because you're reverse weeding either way. Um, for this one here, this little M, I'm going to kind of help it along here. Some like the H pulled up fine, but the M's having a little issue because it's a little bit of a bigger piece. So you can just, you know, and be careful because you are this is your transfer tape and you're going to be transferred, so you really don't want to poke holes in it. So just go really carefully. And I noticed that some of my dots for my eyes they didn't stay in place, and that's okay. I'm going to leave my piece, um, this piece here over to the side and I'll go back and attach those later. Sometimes I find that much easier. And then I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna peel off all of my inside letter pieces. And I'm going to very carefully do this so I don't poke holes or too many holes into my transfer tape. And we're going to can't see too well with this lighting and I don't want to stick my head in the way so you guys can see so bear with me with this weeding it would be much easier at a different angle but it's going along okay so what we're gonna do is just take out all those little pieces and um, because I'm using this piece and I left some of my little dots to my eyes on my weeding box. I want to be careful where I'm placing this scrap vinyl to make sure I'm not placing it where any of those eyes, the dots for my eyes were. And um, I'm just going to go back. I'll show you what I do normally. I just use my weeding hook and I put them back. Sometimes those little dots, they really, no matter what setting you use, it's almost impossible to get them correctly. Uh, without losing them, pulling them up. So usually I don't fuss with it and I just go back and add them after because it's much less of a hassle. So now I have my design all reverse weeded. I'm going to show you guys. 
It's already on my transfer tape, all weeded. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my design here. And I'm going to leave it, um, I'm going to turn it over this way. And I'm going to see that this eye, this dot right here, I'm going to carefully slide my weeding tool under it. It's going to be really hard for you guys to see just now. So I'm going to, I'll bring my weeding tool up to you. So very carefully pull that dot up. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the little dot right there. And I'm just going to place it right here on my transfer tape very carefully. Make sure I got it down. And I find this to be the best way to go ahead and put some of those dots back. I lose dots more than anything and it is so frustrating to try and reverse weed and keep rubbing and burnishing over that one part hoping you'll get that dot on. I just have learned it's so much easier to not worry about it and to just go back at the end and kind of hand place them. Now this one's stuck to my finger but uh, I just it's so much easier this way I found. I find myself less frustrated with smaller things when I can do it this way. So we're going to make sure they're all on there. Um, got this little one down here. And I just place them back on and then you're done. And then you already have this on your transfer tape so it's ready to go to apply it to whatever you need it to. Um, I'm using an old example. These were from my cousin's baby shower, so I just mailed them to her. But this was a great example of a small, thin font, and I didn't have to make something up. So I'm going to put it back on my transfer tape so you can see. And that's reverse weeding. <laughs>